Hi, I'm really delighted to tell you about the latest book from Fast Future, a very human future, enriching humanity in a digitised world. And this book is about exploring how we make sure that the advances in technology are really harnessed to make the world a better place for all humanity. And we do this through seven parts of the book. The first outlines the technological bursts of possibility and disruption that are actually driving the changes that require us to think about the future of humanity. Secondly, we go on to look at the implications of those disruptions for society and the kind of social policies we might need around employment, around guaranteed basic incomes and around developing the skills and social behaviours we need to move into the next version of society in a more digitised world. The third section of the book looks at the implications of all of this for how we design the cities of the future. In part four of the book we go on to look at what all this could mean for people, the way we live our lives, the notion of what a job is and how that might evolve over time, and how we make sure we have the capabilities to do whatever it is we're doing it to earn money in the future. In part five, we go deeper to explore what all of this could mean for the future of business, the way work is designed, and the way we restructure the workplace for a world in which humans and technology are working in collaboration. In part six, we dive into a few key industries to look at the potential implications for industry transformation and disruption in key sectors of the economy. And finally, in part seven of the book, we draw some conclusions. We set out a manifesto mapping out a path to a very human future, highlighting a mobilisation call to individuals, businesses, society, government, highlighting what we think are the critical priorities we need to start addressing to make sure that we are ensuring a very human future, not just for those on the planet today, but for the generations to come. I hope you love reading this book as much as we've loved writing it.